everyone, thanks for joining Loki and I today for these banana bread cookies that I've created. I'm really excited to share these with you just in time for the holiday season because who doesn't want cookies around the house at Christmas time? And these are a really healthy version of cookie to have around the house. They um, just remind me of my banana bread that I've been making for my family for years and now I've created them in a cookie form. So let's head to the kitchen and let me show you what I've come up with. Okay, so for these banana bread cookies, I'm going to be using two small, very ripe bananas. The first time I made these, I made them with um, one and a half very large bananas, um, but these are kind of on the small side, so I'm gonna use two. And the last time I made this batch um, of cookies, I made it with frozen bananas. I keep frozen, very ripe bananas on hand all the time because we use them for ice cream and shakes and stuff. Um, but these are very, very small little skinny bananas. So I'm assuming that two will do the trick for here. But otherwise, like one and a half if they're large for this recipe. So I've got two bowls out because we're going to first mix all of our wet ingredients together and then add um, and all of our dry ingredients and then we'll add them together. So we're going to take two tablespoons of my egg replacement and we're going to mix it with one third cup of, um, of vanilla milk. I'm actually using um, my oat milk creamer this time. Last time I used vanilla milk, but I'm going to try it with a creamer and see if it comes out even better since this is rich and creamy and lots of flavor. So basically one third or five tablespoons of milk. And you've got to blend that really well and just let it sit. And then it um, takes on the properties of your egg and your baked good. But it has to sit for a minute or so, so we're going to just get this done and set it aside and then we'll add it to our wet ingredients.
there you have it. This is the second batch coming out. It makes um, two dozen cookies. If you keep them nice and uniform, you can make them bigger or smaller, of course. Um, and I've already tasted one from the first batch. And I have to say, using my um, oat creamer, the vanilla flavored oat creamer, enhanced it even more and it was a really good choice to switch it up. I used just um, vanilla almond milk last time and the oat creamer was um, a better flavor even. Keeping it even more moist. These cookies are my new favorite because cookies in general are kind of a guilt food for me, but these don't have a lot of sugar in it. As you can see, I mixed it up a little bit with the maple syrup the artificial sweetener and the sugar. There's no getting around sugar when it comes to making good holiday cookies though. So I did use some sugar, but it is a lot less sugar and a lot less oil or butter than your average cookie has in it. And with the banana and the walnuts in there, it makes it for a nutritious cookie. So during the holidays, you can still splurge and eat some cookies, but you also will be getting some nutrition in while eating them. So. Um, so that's why these are going to be my new favorite go-to cookies. Uh, I bet you want to taste it too, don't you? Do you want to sit down for me? I'll let you have a little taste. Don't expect any more than that. That's it. <laughs> so I hope you're all getting pretty prepared for the holidays. They're just right around the corner now. Um, as soon as I finish up here, we're gonna be doing some more Christmas shopping and I have to package stuff up for lots of family members who live out of state. So stay healthy and have a great holiday season and try to not feel stressful about anything. Just have fun. Think of Zooming or FaceTiming family that you can't see this holiday. I know I've been enjoying FaceTime a lot lately with people that are important to me. So have a great holiday season. These are definitely another party for my taste buds. You like them too, don't you? Mmm. So good. We're gonna have to take some down for Brian. I don't dare leave these out here with you though. Have a happy holiday season. Until next time. <laughs>